はい、みなさん、こんにちは。お元気ですかリサです。Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, はじめまして。I'm Lisa. Today's video is about learn Japanese through news. There is English subtitle as well as furigana in this video. So if you are a beginner, stick to it. And if you want to practice your kanjis, don't worry, there are kanjis as well. The news that we are going to discuss today is Princess Nako's marriage with Mr. K. Komodo. This is one of the trending news that is going recently in Japan. She is a princess of the imperial family and she is recently getting married. But what's so interesting about this marriage is we're gonna discuss that at the end after we finish reading the news in Japanese. At the end of this video, I would like to talk a little bit about why、I、learn Japanese through news. It is going to be the end, and there is timestamps given, so you can、um, skip that part if you want, and you can stick to the end if you want to listen. This video is in two steps. Step one, where we only read in Japanese, everything is in Japanese, there is no English subtitles in the part one. Even if you need English subtitles to understand them, I would still recommend you to stick with this part. Because once you have read it in Japanese, next time when you read it with English subtitles, it will be easier for you. Step two is when we read the same paragraph, the news in Japanese, but with English subtitles. They are color coded in the same way, so it will be easier to you to identify which word means what. So there is no issue for that. Okay, here we start with the part one. Mako san ga. 小室圭さんと結婚秋篠宮さまのおずめの眞子さんが26日小室圭さんと結婚しました。秋篠宮さまは天皇陛下の弟です。眞子さんは結婚して皇室から出て小室眞子さんになりました。眞子さんは午前10時ごろ、ご家族に挨拶をして、妹の佳子さまと抱き合ってから出発しました。午後、まこさんと小室さんは東京のホテルで記者たちに話しました。まこさんは、私たちの結婚についていろいろな意見があることは知っています。私のために静かに心配してこれた人や、事実ではない情報があっても応援してこれた人に、感謝しています。自分たちの心を大切にして、生きていくために、結婚しましたと話しましたコムロケイさんはマコさんを愛しています一度だけの人生を愛する人と過ごしたいと思っていますと話しましたこれは、私たちの日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人の日本人
comes in relation to a commoner, like marriage, then that person from the royal family has to lose his or her royal title. Like now, when Princess Mako marries a commoner, she will have to lose her title princess. She will no more be a princess and she will have to break all her ties with the princess or the royal status which she had. Now she also becomes a commoner like you and me. And it is said that now they will live a new life in New York. Well, we are actually nobody to comment on her and we must actually think twice before saying anything on their marriage. There are a lot of opinions about her marriage and I think we really don't have to comment on anybody's personal life, do we? What matters is that they live happily and yeah, I just hope that she is forever happy with him because she gave almost everything for him, right? Like you imagine giving your princess title, the facilities of having a royal family, everything just for some person. That's actually a definition for true love, I'd say. Time for the part two. Mako-san ga coded lyrics here, so it will be easier for you to understand which word means what in the English subtitles. So have fun! This is what the color coded lyrics look like. For example, here, Akishino no Miyasama is marked with Akishino over here in English. They are in the same color. So in this way, you have to identify wherever you stuck. I should have explained this everything bit by bit as I do in my previous videos, but I thought not to because the video will become longer for no reason. So let's start. Akishino no Miyasama no Muzume no Mako san ga 26 nichi Komuro Kei san to kekkon shimashita. Akishino no Miyasama wa tenno heika no ototo desu. Mako san wa kekkon shite koushitsu kara dete Komuro Mako san ni narimashita. Mako san wa gozen juji goro gokazuko ni aisatsu o shite imoto no かこさまとだきあってからしゅっぱつしましたごごまこさんとこむろさんはとうきょうのホテルできしゃたちにはなしましたまこさんは私たちの結婚についていろいろな意見があることは知っています私のために静かに心配してくれた人や事実ではない情報があっても応援してくれた人に感謝しています自分たちの心を大切にして脱絶にして生きていくために結婚しましたと話しました小室さんは眞子さんを愛していますと話しました That's the end of this video. I hope you understood what the story is about. And um, it's not a story, basically, it's a news. And I hope you were able to cope up with the English subtitles. So I, I hope, ah, I said I hope three times. So let's come to the part where I say why learning Japanese with news. For a past long time, I was thinking about the different ways, I was exploring the different ways to learn and to teach a language. Out of which I've already implemented one, which is learn Japanese through story. So what I do is I basically try to explain the folklore as well as the beautiful mythology of the Japanese in the form of a story. At the same time, you're also learning Japanese because of that story. 
So I found it was a great way to enhance the language and I got positive comments for you guys also. So if you are the one who have not yet tried that video and if you don't know how wonderful it is to learn Japanese from a story, check that playlist out. The link must be flashing somewhere up here or maybe in the description. I always forget to put it in the description. It must be flashing up here. So yeah. So this time I was wondering for more such ways like story reading which can help you enhance your Japanese along with having a bit of fun. Which was learn Japanese with news. Why I find this useful is because you are basically understanding the standard Japanese which is seen in Japan, which is seen in newspapers, seen in televisions. So it's important to know it, right? And you can really take your formal Japanese to another level by looking at the Japanese news, like we did in this video. So, of course, it is helpful. And where to read it from? I will try to continue this series. Whether I continue this series or not depends on your response. So if you people find this video useful, hit the like button to show your appreciation or leave it in the comments that you want me to continue the series. Only then I would come to know and I would make an effort to continue this series. Otherwise, I'll have to stick to the previous one and discontinue this. So if you think it's useful, please do let me know whether I should do it or not. And let's say you don't want me to continue. So in that case, I'll still leave you a website which is NHK Japan. This is a website which offers Japanese in simplified way around for learners of N3 to N2 level. What they do is the same Japanese news in a bit easier way. Not so easy, but a bit easier. And um, I've been personally reading some of their articles every day to enhance your Japanese. And it, it's like a miracle. You seriously see your improvement if you try to read each of them. Whatever word you find it difficult, feel free to ask me or you have Google and you can search for that word and make out a meaning of that news. So you will also be stay updating with what's happening in Japan at the same time learning Japanese. Sounds so fun, right? So yeah, if you have any more suggestions, how should I try learning, um, try making you learn Japanese with any other way? I've been trying to make a video on learn Japanese through songs, which is already in progress. So yeah, that was a spoiler alert spoiler spoiler alert i can spell that word spoiler alert yeah spoiler alert <laughs> so yeah the video is going to come soon and if you enjoyed this video share it with your friends who are also trying to learn japanese okay that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next lesson till then keep learning and stay safe okay, bye またね。